Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the darkest YouTube iceberg. Now, if you guys don't know about these types of videos, maybe you've seen them on your recommended, but I'll give you the rundown really quick. So basically, icebergs are tier lists that start from the sky and go all the way down to the dark abyss. As we dive deeper through these categories, we begin to find out things that not the general public knows about. Things just keep getting more obscure as you keep going down on the list. Starting from the beginning, it's stuff that everyone knows about until the end, not that many people know about. I will be your host today. That's right, guys. Trunks will be your host today. <laughs> the hair is purple now due to uh, hitting 50,000 subscribers. So thank you guys so much. Even though while I'm recording this, we're at 56,000 subscribers. So the channel is growing incredibly quick. Thank you guys so much. Nothing goes unnoticed, you know? I want to give credit to Alex Gus for his video on the dark YouTube iceberg because... Be... <laughs> because I did use his video as a blueprint. And I also want to give credit to Reddit user BeanBurger9 because that is the tier list that I'm going to be using. So this is the tier list that BeanBurger made and I actually switched it up a little because you know, I don't want to be a copy and paste of the other video. So here's my version of the list. All right, and without further ado, grab some popcorn and let's get straight into the video the sky. Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared is a surreal comedy horror musical web series created by British filmmakers Becky Sloan and Joseph Pelling. It consists of six episodes released from July 29th, 2011 to June 19th, 2016. The series combines segments in live action, puppetry, traditional animation, and computer animation. Each episode starts like a typical children's series, consisting of anthropomorphic puppets like those featured in Sesame Street and other popular children's TV programs. The series parodies these programs by contrasting this childlike color environment against disturbing themes. Each episode features a surreal plot twist in the climax, including psychedelic content and imagery involving graphic violence and psychological horror. The six episodes explore and discuss the subjects of creativity, time, love, technology, diet, and dreams. On July 7th, 2020, it was announced by creator Becky Sloan that the Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared TV series will be airing on Channel 4 as a television series in the future. Salad Fingers. Salad Fingers is a British flash animation web series created by David Firth in July of 2004. In 2005, the San Francisco Chronicle ranked it among the top 10 pop culture phenomena. As of January 2021, there have been 11 episodes published by YouTube and Newgrounds. Salad Fingers is believed to suffer from dissociative identity disorder, and that Hubert Cumberdale, one of his finger puppets, was his true personality, and Salad Fingers was just Hubert's gentle and oblivious side. Fake anti-piracy screens. Anti-piracy prevention is a system developed in some video games so that the people who download a pirated version of the game can't progress through the game itself. These screens do exist in some games, but for the most part, aren't scary in any way. This trend picked up in late 2020 when users started making their own creepy versions of these scenarios. People began to wonder if what they were watching was actually real. Some of these anti-piracy screens can be extremely detailed, while others come off cheesy. Duendes, aka Mexican Elves. Now this one's a little uh, personal one, so that's why you can see my face when I explain this one. By the way, I don't know how often you guys are going to see my face in this video, simply because I do have a fat script, because I had to write a description for each and every single one of these topics. So Duendes is the Spanish word for elves. In the Hispanic community, mythological creatures are very common. This includes the likes of chupacabras, sirenas, which means mermaids, and duendes. The reason I put it in the first category is because of how easy it is to access. I remember when my mom, my sister, and I first got our first PC, which was back in the day, bro. We were amazed at the fact that the internet existed. You could look up anything and it would pop up within seconds. So what did we do? That's right. We looked up duendes. <laughs> and these videos were always pixelated. I mean, always pixelated. Yeah, so it's safe to assume that they are fake, but what always had me wondering is how people faked them back in the day. I mean, there was no Adobe Premiere. There was no Sony Vegas Pro. So how did these people fake them? Smile HD. Smile HD is a My Little Pony animation by a person of the name Dave Davey. It revolves around the My Little Pony cast, but more specifically Pinkie Pie. The song is about her wanting to make others smile. The animation takes a gory turn and Pinkie starts going on a gruesome rampage on her friends. Eventually, she is left with only Fluttershy to kill. And she does this by summoning some sort of energy ball which she destroys the earth with. I can already imagine the amount of big brothers that show this to their little sisters and just scarred them for life. Shout out if you're one of those big brothers. I salute you. No, I'm just kidding. No, no, no. That's pretty messed up though like showing a kid some gore at a really young age bro that's not right don't do that do not do that
creepy pastas. Back in the day, creepy pastas were a very big thing. I personally used to love them in middle school. Creepy pastas are horror related legends that have been copy and pasted around the internet. These internet entries are often brief, user generated, paranormal stories intended to scare readers. They include gruesome tales of murder, suicide, and other occurrences. Many famous characters we know today came from creepy pastas. This includes the likes of Slenderman, Jeff the Killer, Laughing Jack, Sonic.exe, Ben Drowned, and many more. Five Nights at Freddy's lore. I added this one, you guys know. As the Five Nights at Freddy's enthusiast, you know I had to add it, bro. I, I keep seeing these videos and no one includes Five Nights at Freddy's. Come on, guys, we gotta add it. Five Nights at Freddy's was our favorite game at one point. Let's all admit it. This indie horror game caught wind once gaming YouTuber Markiplier started a series about it on his channel. That video has 92 million views as I'm recording this video. The game took on a life of itself, inspiring many players to come up with their own theories and Matt Pat to make 70,000 videos on the topic. The game is still going to this day, though the creator, Scott Cawthon, is no longer a part of the Five Nights at Freddy's team. Happy Tree Friends. Happy Tree Friends is an American adult animated web series by Mondo Media. The show had achieved a cult following on Mondo Media and YouTube. Being an adult animated show disguised as a kid's cartoon show, the series features cartoon forest animals who are suddenly subjected to very extreme and cruel graphic violence in any episode. Each episode revolves around the characters enduring accidental or deliberately inflicted pain, murder, or mutilation. I remember when, uh, 2010 type stuff? Redondo Beach, which is a beach here in California, actually used to sell Happy Happy Tree Friends figurines. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's a very deep memory. Just thought I should mention that. The tip of the iceberg. Lee Hardcastle Animations Lee Hardcastle is a British animator who specializes in stop motion techniques. He is famous for his handmade independent animations. I specifically would like to talk about his Simpsons couch gag series he has on his YouTube channel. This series puts the characters we know and love in horrible situations. In the first episode, the entire family is murdered by Bart's bullies. Marge is able to fight back, but in the end, she dies too. Lisa survives and then is shot by Officer Wiggums. When you guys watch this, I strongly recommend to watch the version of the video with Suicide Boys' Kill Yourself Part 3 playing in the background. Something about it just makes it that much more horrifying. Beasts. I am the beast that cuts the meat. Now that they're dead, you can sink in your teeth. Beast is an animated music video uploaded in 2014. The catchy song revolves around each green beast announcing what they do and how it contributes to their society. It's noticeable that there is a deeper meaning to this video with lyrics such as, I am the beast that makes degrees. As long as I smile, I can treat them like sheep. I am the beast that's on TV. I make you think that you need to be me. The video ends with the earth turning yellow. Personally, I think it means that the world will eventually turn to shit if we keep doing the same things over and over again. I feel fantastic. I feel fantastic. I Feel Fantastic is a 2 minute and 30 second video of a robot dressed in women's clothing uploaded in 2009. The robot is singing in a text to speech voice. Many rumors about this video began with the channel itself. With no other uploads and having the name Creepy Blog, it really left people wondering. One of the theories was that the creator of the video was a serial killer that buried people in the places wherever the camera zoomed in on. Soon, people on the internet would find out that this robot was built by John Bergeron as a project and the bot's name is Tara the female android. Tara even has her own DVD collection with more of her music. Hey Walter. Hi Walter. I was at the mall today and guess what happened? I met the most wonderful girl. Hey Walter, Meet My Girlfriend is a fake kidnapping video about a Redditor looking dude who is telling his friend, which is Walter, that he met a girl at the mall earlier that day. He says that she came back to his place and then opens the bathroom door to reveal the supposed girlfriend tied up on the bathroom floor. The video ends with her screaming for help. The only reason I find this video eerie is because I know stuff like this happens in real life. I can't even imagine the stuff that goes on in the deep web. Username 666 Username 666 is an old YouTube hoax that began in 2008. The video shows a screen recording of someone going to youtube.com 666 and refreshing. As they keep refreshing, the webpage slowly starts getting more and more demonic. Eventually, the person in the video attempts to turn their PC off to no avail. It's very obvious that this was a hoax to begin with. Obey the Walrus. I don't know exactly when the first version of Obey the Walrus came out, but this particular version was uploaded in 2017. The video starts off with Andros from Star Fox 64 with the itsy bitsy spider playing in the background in Spanish. Then the screen cuts to hypnotic illusions and then cuts again to a disabled person dancing. The video has a reverse song playing in the background and the name of the YouTube video comes from the last few seconds where a still image of a walrus appears. The woman in the video is actually a transgender drag queen that used to go by the name Goddess Bunny. She tragically passed away earlier this year due to COVID-19. 
blank room soup. <laughs> This video depicts a man crying while eating soup with a large wooden spoon. No, I said wooden spoon, while two men in costumes caress him as he continues to sob and eat. Rumors were that this man and his wife were kidnapped by the two figures, and the man in the middle was being forced to eat his wife's remains. Though we don't know the actual origins and purpose of the video, we do know where the costumes come from. They come from a designer named Raymond Percy, and the costumes were used in what appears to be entertainment slash comedy acts. Rubber Johnny <laughs> Rubber Johnny is a strange music video uploaded in 2012. And yes, I know rubber is slang for condom and Johnny is slang for dick. I'm, I am aware. The video begins with this alien-like creature, Johnny, being asked a couple of questions. Eventually, Johnny starts hyperventilating and the camera goes out of control. Then, the music starts and we get a montage of Johnny rolling around in this dark room. A lot of weird things begin to happen in this montage. This song is actually by Chris Cunningham and Aphex Twin, which came to a shock to me because I had no idea Aphex Twin made this song. I love Aphex Twin's music. I found out about this video when I was like 10 my brothers just played it randomly and I was like in shock I didn't I, I thought it was a real alien yeah shout out Aphex Twin if you guys don't listen to his music I strongly recommend listening to his music there's also some Supreme shirts that have references to Rubber Johnny Ben Drowned. Ben Drowned is a well-known creepypasta, and later an ARG, which means alternate reality game, created by Alex Hall, also known as Jeducible. The story revolves around a Majora's Mask cartridge that is haunted by the ghost of a boy named Ben. Many weird and creepy things start happening in the playthrough. The nice thing about this creepypasta is that people modified the game in order to fit the story's narrative, providing for a more real experience. Below the Surface. Sitting and Smiling. Sitting and Smiling is a series by a man named Benjamin Bennett. This man simply stares at the camera while smiling for four hours. The crazy thing is he's done this 317 times. He doesn't break character and live streams all of these videos. In his most popular one, someone tries breaking into his house but quickly leaves as they see Benjamin on the ground smiling. Hello? Teddy has an operation. There is something wrong with Teddy. This video is about a teddy bear surgery. Already an odd scenario, the doctor begins explaining what's wrong with Teddy's organs and proceeds to fix them. Though the organs aren't filled with cotton. They are realistic animal organs. Honestly, that's the only weird part, but if you can look past that, it's actually a sweet video. Little Baby's Ice Cream. I eat Little Baby's Ice Cream. It keeps me young. Little Baby's Ice Cream is a strange series of commercials by a company of the same name. Their most viewed video has 17 million views and consists of a woman eating herself. A Gemnon Counterpart A Gemnon Counterpart claims to be the recreation of kids shows by aliens in the year 2571, after humans have gone extinct. They do a pretty bad job at capturing what cartoons are. Yeah, honestly, I, I, I didn't think this one was a, was a really good one, but yeah, I just thought it was worth mentioning. Happy Anniversary <laughs> Happy Anniversary was uploaded in 2016 and is just an old guy laughing at the camera for a minute until his smile quickly disappears and the words Happy Anniversary appear on screen. The description reads, Happy Anniversary 112 Dirtbag, which seems to be a call out to the disappearance of Mara Murray, who in 2004 went missing after a car crash on Route 112. The old man has been investigated, but nothing was found on him. There is nothing. Dining Room or There Is Nothing is a strange video of a woman saying something in reverse and then slamming her head into the bowl in front of her. In the middle portion of the video, it reverses, revealing that what she said was, There Is Nothing. So apparently this video went viral before YouTube was even a thing. It just went viral on the dude's website or maybe other people's websites and apparently a bunch of people had like downloaded these this video. I don't know why people would download creepy videos like this and no, I'm not included because I'm I have to download them to put them in the video. Why would you want that on your hard drive? I don't know. Daisy Brown. Hi guys, uh, it's it's Daisy Brown. I'm just talking to the camera. Daisy Brown was an American YouTuber best known for her videos showcasing her friend and technically her brother, Alan, who is sort of a grayish monster who can only eat sugar. As the series goes on, you can see Alan grow and develop a personality. I'm not scared of you. Just like you're not scared of cars. <laughs> the series ends with Daisy killing Alan and running away. The creator of the series, Jules Dapper, actually recently made her own channel and video explaining why she made the series. 11BX1371 
11B X1371 is an art project by Parker Wright. The video follows a figure with a plague mask, and there seems to be a lot of things you can decode from it. There were a lot of communities that were dedicated to cracking down what the video truly meant. Homunculus videos. The definition of homunculus is a supposed microscopic but fully formed human being from which a fetus was formerly believed to develop. In 2015, a Russian YouTuber uploaded a video simply titled How to Make a Homunculus, Homunculus Number 1, where he injects a chicken egg with his sperm. Over the course of the series, you can see the homunculus take on a life of its own. These videos are of course fake, but the question is, how did he fake them? Deep water. Possibly in Michigan. No, 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 silly. No, no, to dry no, it. Possibly in Michigan is a 1983 horror musical short film revolving around three characters. Two women who enjoy shopping for perfumes at a mall, and a stalker man who is planning on killing and eating both of them. The story takes a turn when they both team up against him and end up killing and eating him instead. You might recognize some parts of the audio because it blew up on TikTok. Many speculate that the two women are lovers and not just friends. Look at the clown. Nope, wrong image. Look at the clown is supposed to be some sort of exposure therapy made for children to overcome their fear of clowns. It's obvious that this video is made for fun because there are a bunch of creepy images of clowns that no one would use in order to make their children feel safe. Funny video though. Robert Heltman. Robert Heltman is a user who uploads videos on a girl named Daisy. Daisy is the girl in the trash bag who is most likely dead. The series is really short, and in an episode, you can see a man with a bag over his head holding a knife. Again, this is a fake concept. Shea St. John <laughs> One of my favorites from this entire list is definitely Shay St. John. Shay St. John is a fictional character and art project who appears in a series of surrealist campy short films. St. John, created by Eric Fournier, was described with a backstory claiming she was a supermodel disfigured in a car accident, who rebuilt her body with a collection of mannequin parts. If you guys want to watch a funny video by Shay, I recommend watching Hand Thing. I also recommend watching Mr. Black Darkness 666's video where he interviews the supposed Shay St. John. No one knows if it actually was her in the interview though because Eric Fournier died in 2010, and the interview was uploaded in 2017. Really Bottom of the Iceberg, Plastic Men. Plastic Men is another video uploaded by the Treats for Beasts channel. This time, we see a beast crying in what seems to be pleading for help. His hard to understand dialogue translates to plastic men, women, and children want to tickle me in the wilderness. They watch me as I caress my exposed spine. I am ashamed of my own body. Many people comment on what the video means to them. It's very cool, yet morbid, seeing how many people can relate to this little green beast. Poco Poco Shopping. Poco Poco Shopping is a video made by the same person who made a username 666, Nana. This video is about dolls who are promoting certain products. The video starts off somewhat calm and proceeds to get more chaotic while exposing satanic imagery. Nana is best known for his unique style of art, which he repeatedly refers to on his Twitter as cute and horror videos. This style is usually elaborated as youthfully feminine or tender that degrades into gore and hidden terrifying agendas. The Maker the Maker is a stop-motion short film directed by Christopher Keselos. The film is about this rabbit-looking creature that spends almost the entire film creating someone that looks like him. In the end, he is able to make himself a friend, but we realize that in this world, this is part of a constant loop where the creatures make another and die themselves. This video is one of, if not the most popular, on the list with 14 million views. Angel <laughs> There's not really much context I could find about this video. It's just a creepy doll slash puppet slash blanket thing sped up with distorted sounds. This entire channel uploads weird shit and it just so happens that this video blew up. Grave robbing for morons. Great. Pull it out like that. Do not pull it by the teeth or else it'll break out like that and you will have holes. 
Grave Robbing for Morons is a video where a teenage boy is explaining how he robs from dead people. He describes what he does in a very gruesome and detailed manner. This video was probably filmed in the late 80s or early 90s but re-uploaded to YouTube. There's a website dedicated to finding the kid in the video. I guess people just want to know if this was real or not. Apparently, this video was released along with other short films on VHS but no proof other than screenshots are provided. Now we're heading over to the abyss. Smile Guide 1, How Effectively an Apple. Yes, that's the translated version of it. I don't know if it's supposed to be how to effectively eat an apple or how to effectively cut an apple. I don't know. It's a Polish video guiding you on either how to cut or eat an apple. This video is Polish, so I had to use Google Translate and subtitles. But from what I could see in the video, they are talking about mushroom land a lot, and by the end of it, you realize they were always talking about mushrooms, not apples. It's definitely one of the more weird videos. Limbo, the organized mind. You know, I've, um, I've learned to walk around inside my own head. Limbo, the organized mind is a short film by Jim Henson, the creator of the children's show The Muppets. The film is about this figure with eyes and a mouth that go through different regions of his mind. The original video has been deleted, but a copy can be found on YouTube. The audio is really muffled though. It's really odd how the same man who made The Muppets made this film as well. Or maybe, maybe it's not odd at all. Maybe it makes sense. PHR 2771. PHR 2771 is a video that tries really hard to be scary. Honestly, it's not. It seems like something a kid in middle school would make to try to scare his fellow classmates. Definitely one of the worst on this list. Now we are at the final tier. Dark Abyss. Plasma Master Dawn. Plasma Master Don was an elderly man who would upload song covers here on YouTube. You may have seen his most popular video where he covers Joji's slow dancing in the dark. The comments praised him for being so wholesome. Eventually, the internet found out that he was a legitimate child predator, thanks to Nick Crowley. He found out about this information because he found Plasma Master Don in the Federal Sex Offender Registry. Ten days after this video was posted, Don passed away. Shockumentaries. A perfect shockumentary example that can be found here on YouTube is Faces of Death, released in 1978. A one hour and 46 minute film documenting human and animal deaths. And no, nothing is censored. The video is age restricted, but I'm pretty sure YouTube doesn't take it down due to it being considered educational. This film is not for the weak. This film documents the bedding of dog fights, the clubbing and skinning of fur seals, Native American tribe deaths, autopsies, and a lot more. Monkey hate. Monkey hate is a small community here on YouTube that just hates monkeys. Yeah, I don't know why either. In the Faces of Death film, there is a scene where a rich family eats a monkey. But first, as part of tradition, they must break his skull using small hammers while the monkey's head is peeking out of a hole in the table and body is trapped in a cage underneath. Oh yeah, they eat the brain raw. Mr. Sleepy People. Mr. Sleepy People is a now deleted channel where the user would post videos of himself sneaking into girls' rooms and licking their eyelids as they slept. According to the titles, sometimes these girls were drunk as well. Apparently, there's a whole audience that loves these videos, and I'm sure there are more accounts like this. Mr. Anime. You know, you always act like you're real mad at me for some reason. <laughs> you know why I always look like I'm pissed off at you, Trey? Because I am! Mr. Anime was a content creator who would upload quote-unquote funny skits. He ended up murdering his mother, father, and brother. There were no signs of him being a murderer in his videos. Well, besides having anime in his name. He is currently being held in a psychiatric hospital. Fake Animal Rescue. These are channels that purposely hurt or put their animals in awful situations to then turn on the camera and pretend to save them. They do this for likes and internet praise. If you guys want more information about these videos, Mudahar from Some Ordinary Gamers made two really good videos on the topic. Gore. Straight up gore can be found on YouTube sometimes. Most of the time it is either age restricted or has already been taken down. Gore does exist on this website. Sometimes people can upload it as unlisted and only share it within their little community or sometimes they just go under the radar. Okay, wow, I finally finished reading all of that. That took a long time. If you guys liked the video, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to subscribe if you guys are new. Make sure to go check out my previous videos. The three recent videos that I have uploaded so far all have hit over 100,000 views, so I'm so blessed to be in that position. Maybe this one can hit 100,000 views? Maybe? 
I don't know. I, this one's a really different video. I say that every time I upload though. I got my first sponsor in this video or like my second sponsor. So like the channel's growing guys and you guys are witnessing it. So it's just so cool. And shout out Edward and Nicole, my my parents for, uh, you know, co-signing me. That shit's so dope. Anyway, go follow me on Instagram. That's where people found out that my hair was purple first. And maybe my next video will have another hair color because we are growing insanely quick. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys next time I upload. Rich boy, rich boy, baby just want a rich boy, rich boy, rich boy.